Welcome to the screencast for RTFM, the Ruby Terminal File Manager. One of the purposes of this file manager is that it parses your LS colors. It has the same color scheme as when you do LS in your terminal. Here you can see my color scheme, at least some of it. It covers more than 500 different file types and with different colors for different type of group or files, etc. So when I launch RTFM, Via the RTFM launcher, I can just press R and it goes straight into RTFM. And you can see the same color scheme on the left here. Now, on the left side, you will see me browsing this directory. And on the right side, you would see the content of what I'm looking at. Like the artwork folder or directory contains three files. The photos contains four files. Test contains one file and video contains one file. Looking at the other files in this directory, I can see these files beautifully highlighted the content of on the right side. This is a bash script, this is a Ruby script, this is a bash script, this is a readme file. And if you look at the bottom right corner down here, you will see that there is more to be shown in this file because it's more than the screen can hold. And if I use this as a pager, I can just press tab and I can page through the whole file looking at every part of it. And shift tab to go up to the top again. I can also see images inline in the terminal, meaning I can also browse folders of artwork. This is my artwork. This is what I do when I have other things to do than coding. And I can browse my photos. So you can use it as a photo browser. You can even browse videos. They are not playing inside the terminal, but you will see a thumbnail about 10% into the video, so you can browse and see what the videos are all about. Now, I move around with my arrow keys, like this, and when I move to the right, I go into the, ter uh, to the directory, or I open the file. So if I go into the test directory, I can open the file by pressing right again, and it opens it, since it is a text file, into my uh, editor of choice, which is Vim. I go out again. And now you can see at the top here, you will see some information of what I'm looking at. So I see the path of this file, which is home, get, test, test. I see the, the, the information about the file. The size of the directory is 4K, so that's not so interesting. But you can see here, there is one file in there. It's actually four files, meaning there must be three hidden files. Let's have a look. We go in here and I press A to see all files and lo and behold there are some other files here. This is a hidden file. Another hidden file. And we all know RTFM. This is a normal file. And pressing A again I show only the normal files, meaning not the hidden files. If I press L I see the long version of information of the files in each area. Now you can see the left side here is very very tight. I can toggle that with the W key. I can make it tighter and it goes wider and tighter and tighter and tighter and wider. So it can uh, be suited to your purpose of what you're looking at. So let's go away from this and let's go down to the test again. And I can do all kinds of copying and pasting and symlinking, etc. I can tag this file, I can make a symlink out of it, and here you can see it's a symlink. Uh, and at the top here, you can now see that the path of the symlink is this, and it's actually pointing to this other file, XYZ. Obviously, it cannot have the same name, therefore, it adds a little one at the end. And if I copy that again and I paste it, you will see there is a 1-1 one, one there. Now I didn't symlink it, I just copied the original file. If I symlink it, you will see that it goes into 1-2, one, 1-3, one, 1-4, one, etc. I can take these and tag them and delete them with the D. And away they go. Now there is obviously a lot of stuff you can do. You can copy, you can paste, you can tag, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can jump around directories. And since I launched this with the RTFM launcher, I can, let's say, go to the mark R, which I have, which is the RTFM repository on my, uh, on my computer. And if I quit RTFM, I'm quitting in the directory I am in right now. So I can now go in, do some work in the terminal, go back into RTFM, 
I'm exactly where I was right now inside this directory. I jump back to the test directory and I'm here. I can do stuff down here at the bottom of the screen where there is a little command line where you can put any type of command you can put on the terminal command line you can put inside of RTFM. Let's say I want to create a file. I can do touch XYZ and there is a file down here being XYZ. Obviously that's an empty file because I haven't put anything into it. Let's remove that. I can also do stuff like uh, locate, let's say a locate test. And now it goes through my whole PC and it finds all what matches this, uh, uh, this thing I'm looking for, namely test. Let's say I'm jumping to this line here. I want to go into this third number 32 here. And what I do then is just do number 32, enter and I'm into that directory. Back to the test directory. And I can jump around like this very easily. Now there's obviously a lot of functionality beyond what I can show in the screencast but you read the fucking manual and by pressing question mark and it will show you all the keys that you can uh, push in order to access all the functionality in RTFM. There is quite a lot here. So knock yourself out. If there is any functionality you would like to have included in an RTFM, you may ask. I may obey or not, depending upon if I think the feature is cool. If you have any bugs that you encounter, please report them as issues to the GitHub page and I will fix them as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching.